thank everyone for joining this webinar. I'm Barry Moltz. I'm still trying to get your small business unstuck. In today's webinar, we're talking about how really to track and to manage all of your orders and your inventory. Let me make sure that I've got the right. Here we go. So why are we doing this webinar? I've worked with thousands of small business owners and ran my own companies over the last 30 years. And this is actually a very difficult issue. You know, you start off and you think, oh, it's nothing really to go out and to sell products and take those products in inventory and ship them out. But actually, it has gotten much more difficult over the past 10 years. But the good news is, for everyone listening, the technology tools have gotten that much better to actually, if we use them in the right way, it becomes so much easier. But I would tell you that a lot of small business owners, it's actually very, very difficult to be able to keep track of all your revenue, all your orders, all your expenses. That's the cost of the goods coming in to your business to make sure that you track all the orders as they go out and that the customer knows exactly where it is. It actually gets complicated really, really fast. And what happens is, most people start their business using an accounting system like QuickBooks. And I'm not saying that QuickBooks is a bad system. What I'm saying is that it really doesn't work well if you need to track inventory, especially if you're selling your product at many different locations. You know, it used to be in the olden days that people had a retail store and if they wanted to know what was in inventory, they would go in the back or on the retail floor and see what there was and they would count it. Or every single order actually came out of that retail store. Of course, these days, things really have changed because not only are we selling in physical stores, but more likely we're selling things online, not only at our own branded website, but also we're selling them to consumers and we're selling them to wholesalers, which may require two different sites, maybe the same inventory, but two different prices. And many of us are selling our products as well on third-party marketplaces like eBay or Amazon or these other kinds of places. And you actually have to keep track of the inventory in each of these different places. Now, if you thought keeping track of inventory was difficult when you had one location, a physical location, a store, it becomes really complicated to keep track of what your inventory is at a particular point in time when you're selling at multiple different places, physical and virtual, your own branded website, as well as your marketplaces. It becomes hard to actually do this because customers want to know they want to know is the product in stock if it is they want a confirmation of their purchase they also want to be able to track their order right from the moment that they actually purchased it all the way through when they receive it at their door now amazon and apple really have set the standards for how customers really want to have an experience of buying anything i know for me and we've all used Amazon before, they tell you that they're preparing your order, that it's shipped, that it's in process. But what's cool now with Amazon is that I live in a high rise building in Chicago. My Amazon Alexa actually tells me that the order has arrived before the doorman calls me and says, your package has arrived. And so we're expecting these kinds of things, no matter if we're selling B2C or B2B, this is really what we want because what you have to remember is that people no longer w just want to buy a product. I don't care whatever you're selling. They can probably get that almost anywhere. Most things we sell these days are in a sense with a worldwide market, a commodity. What they really want is a seamless customer experience that they can talk about. They want to make some kind of connection for it to be personal, authentic, and these kinds of tools, which we're talking about, where we keep track of our inventory, process our orders, this really adds to the experience. Because every single system that we have in place, whether it be selling products or doing customer service or point of sale or people call in, 
it all comes back to having an incredible customer experience that people can talk about. And if these systems are disjointed or there's multiple information in many places or they don't talk to each other, that can be a real problem for a small business. And I guarantee you, because I've been there, it's going to hurt the customer experience. And it also makes it a lot harder to make any money doing this. So if you're feeling that this is hard to do, it actually is. Because think about all the things that actually have to go into running a business that has products. You have to purchase the products or make the products. You then have to receive them. And perhaps you have to assemble them into kits. And then you have to store them in some kind of warehouse and then when the customer buys something, you need to go out and you need to find out where this product is and probably where multiple products are. You've got to pack it up. You got to ship it. You got to track it. You got to track the deduction inventory. You've got to track a return if it comes back and track the refund. You may even have to return it back to wherever you got it from. All of these things are hard, but it goes into having a great customer experience because that's what they really that's what they really want I'm trying to forward this now again here let's see here there we go so have you ever managed a warehouse I know that many of you have but I actually did manage my own warehouse when software used to come in boxes instead of getting downloaded from the web or using it in the cloud I had a whole warehouse of software that was on little uh, discs, which you might remember and then on DVDs, but the customer experience an outstanding customer experience actually goes through the warehouse because if you cannot manage your warehouse, your products, your inventory, well, then everything else isn't going to work. You know, this is what the customer really sees. This is a scene of home shopping network and you know, they see that this product is for sale and we have them in inventory and things like that. But so many other things go on behind the scenes. So when you're managing your inventory, you've got to make sure you have the right levels that's in stock, that you have the fill rate that the customers actually expect. You need to know when you should reorder that product. And then when you need to reorder it, how many products you should actually order. Remember, this is critical for your business because if you don't have the right level of inventory, you could run out of cash in two different ways. One is if you have too much inventory, you have too much of your cash invested in inventory. And if you don't have enough inventory, perhaps a customer goes looking elsewhere to buy that product and then you don't have their cash. So this is a cash conversion cycle that starts with the inventory, right? You sell the inventory and then it becomes accounts receivable. People then pay their accounts receivable in business. It turns into cash and then you can pay the accounts payable for that product so you can buy more inventory. It's all a cycle. And if it's broken somewhere along the line, it will really hurt the cash flow in your business. Now, the first reaction for most small businesses is that when they grow their company, they want to add people. They always want to add might, as I say, instead of the right process or tools, because they figure if they have more people, more things will get done. I will tell you that if we do not give people the right processes and the right tools to supercharge their activity, we're never going to make any money just by adding people doesn't really work. You have to give them the right tools and the best process. Another thing happens as we're growing our business is that we see a problem and we want to solve it with a given solution. Now we see this a lot in the consumer business where I want to manage my expenses or I need a, uh, an alarm clock to wake me up or I need something to track my mileage. I buy a small app for that and, and it's become an expression, right? There's an app for that. And so we end up buying all sorts of different kinds of tools. The problem is from a business standpoint, unlike in consumer world, from a business, you need to have all those applications be able to talk to each other. If you don't, this is what you get. 
you get basically a mess inside your company if this application can't share data with this application, can't share data with another application. You end up with duplicate data in many different systems, lower productivity because people are constantly re-entering data and making a lot of mistakes. The customer is mentioned in many different systems. They don't see themselves that way. They see themselves as one customer where they're buying something or following up on some kind of warranty. And most importantly, there isn't a company-wide analysis. You can't really see holistically what is going on in your business. Therefore, you can't track the proper metrics to make sure that your business grows profitably. Well, this all changes today because I've really become a big fan of a solution out there called Zoho. It really is one system that will really help you grow your company in each of those departments as things move along. So you start with a solution, it's in the cloud, and you can actually use as much of these solutions as you want, and as your company grows, you actually can use more of it. And all the parts actually talk to each other. So I want to introduce at this point Akil Choyen from Zoho, who's going to talk about how Zoho inventory actually will help you in your company to make sure that it grows properly. Akil, welcome to the webinar. Hi, Barry. Uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, you know explaining the challenges that the SMBs fa uh, face in a detailed manner. So hi, everyone. My name is Akhil, and I represent uh, Zoho. So in today's webinar, uh, in this part of the webinar, I would like to talk more on what Zoho Inventory is all about and how Zoho Inventory can solve these challenges which Barry mentioned. So to start with, Zoho Inventory would be an online cl cloud-based inventory and order management system. So how does Zoho Inventory work? So Zoho Inventory works both on your physical store as well as online store. So in a physical store, the ideal workflow would be that you purchase the, uh, you create a purchase order, purchase the products from your vendor, store it within your warehouse, and whenever a customer places an order, you fulfill the order to your customer. And in case of an online store, like Barry mentioned, right, you can sell on different marketplaces like Etsy, Amazon, eBay, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, and and so on right so you can integrate zoho inventory with any of those marketplaces let's say multiple marketplaces that you have you can integrate with any of them and what zoho inventory does for you is basically we will bring in the item details the order details into zoho inventory wherein zoho inventory can be your central point for all these channels and you can process your orders right from within Zoho Inventory and Zoho Inventory will update the correct stock available in your inventory to all these different marketplaces and different channels along with your physical store. And we will also basically send out the shipment details to your Shopify or you know the different marketplaces that you sell on. This makes sure that you know the customer always sees the correct inventory that you have in your warehouse now let's see the how zoho inventory helps out to manage your business so we have the order fulfillment part and also the inventory tracking part with respect to order fulfillment uh, the example would be so whenever you receive an order from your customer you would ideally create a sales order so once you can send the sales order directly to your customer so that you can uh, give him a confirmation on the order that you have received. You can manually create them, or as I mentioned before, you can integrate any of your marketplaces and we will fetch in the customer order directly into Zoho Inventory. Now, once the sales order has been created, you can create beautiful packages and packing slip out of Zoho Inventory. And apart from that, you can also using the package geometry, which is powered by our AI intelligence tool, Zia, you can actually see how you can stack up your product so that it fits that package. So once the package has been created, you can integrate with any of these 50 plus shipping carriers that Zoho Inventory provides, and you can fetch the rates, real time rates from your different uh, you know, shipping channels and generate the label right within Zoho Inventory. 
and once that is done we will send out shipment notifications to your customer so once the order gets delivered into to your customer's place you don't need to basically manually come in, into the software and mark it as delivered we will automatically do that for you and this is would be an ideal scenario of how the sales process would work wherein you would create a sales order then a package a shipment and uh, you can ship it via carriers or ship it manually so this takes a lot of work if you do it manually so zoho inventory simply automates that process for you and no worries if you do ship manually we are integrated with aftership which is an online shipment tracking provider which integrates with almost 450 plus different uh, shipping carriers so you can simply put in your tracking id and we will track the package right from the point where it leaves the warehouse till it re reaches the customer's destination and we will also send out update you know uh, notifications of where the actual packages has reached so uh, next page point would be you know to collect the payment from your customer so once the uh, package has been delivered the next process would be to collect payments from your customer using zoho inventory you can create beautiful invoices and you can integrate with any of these payment gateways like stripe paypal to check out and automate the collection process so if you are integrated let's take the example of paypal a link will be sent out with the invoice wherein the customer can simply click and pay you online which actually helps you to uh, you know enhance the customer experience another a uh, point where you know customer experience matters would be basically once if they have to return the product you need to make sure that you know uh, the returns is hap happens in a very smooth way for that we have something called as return uh, rma so using the rma or the sales return module of zoho inventory you can actually make sure that you know you cal you capture all the return processes involved when a customer returns your uh, returns a product to you so this is about the order management part so what happens if you are low on stock so you know if you do not have sufficient stock at a location to fulfill how does zoho inventory help you out there now zoho inventory supports something called as multiple locations or multi warehouse management which means that you can keep track of your items in multiple locations and you will be able to manage their inventory now let's take an example that you receive an order where at a location uh, a wherein you are out of stock in that case you can simply create a transfer order move the items to the location and still fulfill your order apart from that you can use the traditional way wherein you can simply raise a purchase order to your vendor get that stock delivered to your warehouse and then fulfill it apart from that you can ask the vendor directly to ship the product to the customer or drop ship which is called as drop ship the product to your customer so this is basically the order fulfillment process and uh, you know uh, the various tools that help you to manage your order orders in an efficient way now let's take a look at the different inventory tracking functionalities that zoho inventory allows you so the first one would be serial number tracking so using serial number if there is uh, you know this is mainly used for high valued items wherein you would need to track each and every unit of the item and so so this is mainly used for warranty purposes so you can use serial number tracking to assign different serial numbers to each and every item and track them in an efficient way next would be the batch tracking functionality so this is mainly famous in the pharma or fmcg industries wherein you would need to track the expiry date of each and every batches that come in and goes out so using batch tracking and the reporting available in zoho inventory you will be able to make sure that you know there are no items in your inventory which has reached the expiry date and using barcode scanning and rfid scanning you can simply scan the items while creating an order and which eases the process of uh, you know your order creation or order management and now if you are a business who sells basically purchases different units uh, different parts and combines them into a kit and sell it sell it to the customer you have the uh, composite items or the kitting module which is available in zoho inventory which allows you to make a bundle out of the different products and ship it to your customer 
now there is always a scenario when you do a stock take right so uh, you have uh, there is a mismatch in the quantity that is available in your warehouse and in your software so you can simply uh, you know do a item adjustment to make sure that you have the right inventory at all point of time and reordering is always a pain now using the reorder stock alerts that zoho inventory provide you can simply set up a reorder point and once your product reaches that reorder point we will automatically send you an email and you can make sure that make sure to uh, raise a purchase order to your vendor and reorder the items this makes sure that you have sufficient inventory at all the point of time so this is about zoho inventory and like barry mentioned you know you can integrate uh, zoho inventory with any of the 45 plus different zoho in, uh, applications that we provide and as in when you scale and the best part is that these all softwares are integrated together so this is all about zoho inventory 